I got the iPad a little over a year ago so that I could work through complex ideas in real time with my team over Zoom. I've since switched over to the Books Note Air 2 Plus, and so I needed to figure out how to do the same thing with it. And so at first I tried out the built-in Android screen sharing, and as a Mac user that really doesn't work. I also tried the Zoom Android app, but I didn't love that I would need to log into the Zoom call a second time, as most of the conversations where I need to sketch something out happen somewhat spontaneously, and I didn't want an extra step involved. I recently found this free app called Screen Copy that runs on Mac, Linux, or Windows that will mirror your Android screen in real time. So the first thing we need to do is turn on remote debugging. And I think in an earlier version of the book software, this wasn't readily available, um, but it is now. So if you hit this icon here in the top right and go to app management, you'll wanna turn on this USB debug mode. It's gonna be off by default, but if you turn that on, that's what'll allow your computer to talk to your Android device. So the next thing we can do is plug it in. and we're all set on the book side. If it prompts you to accept anything, go ahead and do that. And now I'll move over to the computer where we'll complete the remaining steps. Right, we're back over here on the computer now, and we're gonna go to github.com slash Jenny Mobile, and then it's screen copy. And so this app is installed via the command line, um, but once you've got it set up, it's really easy. So we're gonna pick the instructions for our specific operating system. In my case, I'm on the Mac and we're gonna use Brew. So I already have Brew installed, but if you don't have Brew installed, you're gonna to wanna to install that. Now go Brew install, screen copy. So this is probably gonna take a little while on your machine. I'm gonna fast forward the video so that you don't get bored. All right, so now that is installed. The other thing we need to do is we need to install the Android platform tools. This is what will allow our computer to talk to the Android tablet. So we're gonna do that right there. I'll have all these instructions in the description below. And so that is now installed. And now all we need to do is make sure that our tablet is plugged in and we type in SCRCPY. And there we go. So I'm gonna get rid of this extra window here. And now we can see what's going on on our tablet in real time. So I'm gonna swipe up to go home. So note when you're in here, things can be in color, which is kind of interesting. So I'm gonna to go to my notes and let's just pick a note for this video. And so I'm gonna write something. So I'm starting now and it's not instant, but that has more to do with the books. There's probably about a 200 millisecond delay if I were to guess. So I'm just erasing now. So something I didn't know until creating this video is that even though this pen is in red, it doesn't actually write in red on the screen. It'll export as red on the PDF, but it's not actually red in the notes app. Now when I'm in a Zoom call, I can just share my screen and it'll show in real time what I'm writing. When I'm ready to end this, I can just close it like any other app and you'll see it close in the terminal. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions about the Books Note Air 2 Plus or productivity in general. I'm putting together a list of videos to do in the future and I'd love to hear from you.